Hey Cancer, got quick messages for you guys. I'm going to pull your main energy, pull a couple of tarot cards, and uh, yeah. All right. I see that there's something here with precious time. Some of you guys are, let's take a look. The Fairy of Time wants you to experience every moment fully and to make the most of your precious time. Be mindful not to waste others' time either. So you guys are being advised that if you're a time waster, don't do that anymore. And also, you don't want people wasting your time. Right, so we have that. There's something where your time is precious and I feel like somebody may have um, abused it in a sense or taken advantage of it. One more, please. We also have for you guys pure intention. So the fairy of manifestation will help you use your wishes wisely. Manifest your heart's desire with pure intention and for the highest good of all. So you guys have that coming out. Uh, this is also advising you what you need to do. So there's precious time. And somebody could be wasting time or you could be wasting time. I'm picking up that energy with the water signs that there's something with time being wasted. So pure intentions. You guys want to set your intentions and use your time wisely to develop and do whatever you have to do, whatever that's about. Give me one more just because I don't know what really. Let's see. We also have something about abundance. Abundance is not going to come to you until you set your intentions, until you can manage time, until you set your intentions that are pure and you know what you want. The abundance will come in after that. I see some delays. The cards say prepare yourself for income in abundance. Release any mental blocks that you may have in fairyland and human land. There is enough abundance for everyone. So you guys are being, adv uh, being advised that the abundance is there. It's waiting for you. You guys just have to do the work to get there. All right. Let's see what else comes out. Tell me, precious time. What do we need to know about precious time and abundance? And uh, yeah, I'm straightening those out. What do we need to know here? Yeah, let me see if I can move this over for you guys a little bit. It's a it's a new work area, so I'm trying it out. Tell me what this is about, please. Does this have to do with a person for cancer? What's this about for cancer? All right, cancer. Um, I see that there's something with the ten of swords here. Some of you guys could be coming out of this really bad energy where things can't get any worse. Some of you guys feel like the only way to go is up from here. So this is an inevitable end. Something that is... Okay, there's something here where there's an inevitable end, something that's going to come to an end, and you know it. So some of you guys need to use this time wisely to prepare for it. I hope you have. Give me one more. We also see something of, oh, well, we have the Ten of Cups that came out reversed for you guys, too. So something could have happened where you guys have shattered dreams, broken families. At one point, I feel like you guys had some, uh, what one would consider maybe a fairy tale life, but then it's disrupted by arguments and disputes and things like that. So I feel like... This is about not wasting your time. This is about getting back on track. This is about coming out of the energy of Ten of Swords where you're depressed, you feel bad, right? Things can't get any worse, hard to get up out the bed, but it's also because of shattered dreams. One more. What are the disputes? And this is a, not that. What are the disputes about, please? Of course, those are the directions. Um, okay, so this is about some kind of sadness, except in the fact that you have to move on from something and actually finding peace with it. So I feel like some of you guys are starting all over again in the scenario. Some of you guys could have had a breakup or something like that. I feel like for some of you guys, you need to get yourselves back on track so you can focus, so you can get this abundance that is waiting for you. This abundance is going to be there for you, right? Once you come out of this energy and you're able to focus, it'll all be there. Now, I'm going to pull a couple of messages. These messages are going to be for you. I know, right? It's a new dust. Just go with it. <laughs> all right. Oh, I might actually pull those. I doubt it, but we'll see. Give me a couple of cards, please. A couple of cards. This love scares me. You guys are dealing with somebody who's scared of love. Maybe this is somebody, maybe this is why somebody's scared to be happy because we have the Ten of Cups that's actually reversed. So somebody's probably really scared to be happy. Hmm. Give me one more. We also see another message here. I'm open to compromise. This card did come up reverse. I don't think this person's willing to compromise at the moment. I don't understand what happened because it seems like everything was going good, happiness. But then you go into this Five of Cups energy. Do you even care? I don't know if you backed away or if your partner backed away. I feel like in some cases, some of you guys, your partners were backing away because they probably didn't feel like they were getting the attention that they wanted. Let's see what these two cards are. Um, okay, so we do see that there's somebody here who's working really hard, diligent, passion, high standards. They're focusing on their work. All right, so that could be that could be you, and that could be why this person feels neglected. Uh, we also have here, uh, you came across as unreliable. It's the same energy that I got in the other one. It looks like you guys might be a little bit upset with your partners because they're choosing to work, or your partners are mad at you because you're spending too much time at work, whatever that's about. All right, that's all I have for you guys. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.